there's some Venus in the morning. There's a plane coming in over there in a while too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know folks, I'm getting kind of frustrated. It's just frustrating because like, you know, I've been posting up and showing these videos of things drifting over our heads in the skies and like hidden objects and stuff for a while. And, you know, I, I try to present additional information and stuff to try to explain, you know, logically what I'm capturing. And, I don't know, I just, it's frustrating because I see other people and other channels. And they're posting up videos similar to mine where they're showing like hidden crafts and shadows and stuff. But they're pitching it as like aliens or something. And they're getting like thousands and thousands of views on their videos, right? And then I see the same thing as well with another channel that's, you know, someone posting up same thing. Showing hidden crafts and shadows in the skies. But they're pitching it as like some kind of religious or biblical thing and it's you know how biblical and they're getting thousands and thousands of views and I'm I'm pitching my stuff as like being space-based solar systems and being systems put up there by the military and by the space agencies and stuff like that to help build up infrastructure for space travel and space tourism and I can't even break 100 views you know I'm just trying to figure out where people's minds really truly are at because it would seem like the majority of people, and I do mean the majority, just they want to believe in that fantasy. They want to believe in anything other than what makes the most logical sense. That these things that we're seeing drifting over our heads are part of the infrastructure being put in place by our government and by the space agencies for space tourism and shit. And supposedly, according to the Department of Defense, they're being put up there for our national security, you know. But people don't want to believe that. Why? Why do so many people prefer to believe the fantastical over the most logical? I just, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't. Whatever. I'm not going to stop, you know, sharing my captures and my ideas and my own theories and my own opinion about it. But it's just frustrating because I'm, I'm not finding a whole lot of people who are willing to stay grounded in reality and try to figure these things out with the most logical explanation. I'm seeing so many people wanting to just jump to that fantastical realm. And I'm, I just can't go there right now, folks. I can't go there anymore. I went there. I was there. I was with y'all, believing in all of that stuff. And then I started really doing some serious research and deep diving and asking questions. And at this point, I just can't. Because as long as people are all in that fantastical realm and their mindset is not in reality, they're going to continue to drift this stuff over our heads. They're going to continue to cause all of this chaos because they know nobody's going to call them out on it. Everybody's just going to, you know, drift off into their fantasy worlds and not pay any attention to what the government's doing or the military. Or you're just going to get down on your knees and pray and they're just going to continue to get away with it. You know? And that's fine. If that's your bag, go ahead and dig it. But just frustrating to me to see the difference but just I'm trying to to share the most logical explanation and it just it's frustrating anyway that's about it it's a little after 6 a.m. here waiting for the sun to come up on that direction here but just had to share a little bit of Venus and just rant a little bit, I guess, just vent. I guess YouTube is my vent. <laughs> yeah.